Hello everyone, here we are on Windows 11 and today I'm going to be showing you the top five things that every Windows 11 user should know, especially new users who don't know much about their computers already, got to know these five to be able to survive the new operating system, okay? So follow me along on screen, I have my Windows 11 computer here. Other than downloading the software that I'm using to record, haven't added anything to it. So when you come in, you're going to get this general background, this very you know plain background that they put on for you, this blue rose thing. You're going to have Microsoft Edge and you're going to have a recycling bin. And other than that, unless you used OneDrive to restore some of your settings and your apps, that's probably all you're really going to have. OK, other than the built in apps that are already here that aren't showing, this is about it. Where to start from here? Where do we go from here? Well, first off, a lot of people usually typically don't want to use Microsoft Edge. That's something I run into a lot. Um, I have no problems with Edge, but a lot of people have other browsers that they like to use. The reality of the situation is you're going to have to open Edge up, and download those other browsers by coming online and then searching for the, uh, the, the corresponding websites, right? So like if we want Firefox, we have to go to the Firefox download website, which is going to be down in the description and uh, from the firefox.com official website. Make sure it's the actual one, right? The correct one. So right on the start, you can set it as the default browser, download Firefox, Chrome, same thing. They have a similar uh, website download. So we just go to google.com, go to their download page. Their check mark is for automatically sending statistics and crash reports to Google. To be honest, I usually turn that off. And then I download Chrome, okay? So that would be it. If you wanted Firefox or Chrome, whatever browser you use, obviously I can't show every single one. In the example, right off the bat, a lot of people like to get their own browser downloaded, okay? So I'd show you right now. I'm gonna go through the whole process um, actually right here on screen to show you the second thing that I wanna show you, which is opening files, okay? Once you open, download the file, it's going to go to your downloads folder you can hold down Control and J or open it straight from the top right, okay? That'll show Firefox inside of the uh, the downloads and then I can either right click and open or run as administrator, get it installed, okay? Opening files, that's another big one people have trouble with. So now we've seen how to change our browser, download a new browser and then open the file and actually get it installed. And if you lose the file or you close your browser, you can always open up your file explorer down here on the taskbar or hit Windows key and E, take you straight in there, go to your downloads and find that download. So there's the download from today that we just did, okay? And I have downloads from previous weeks, right? Because I set this up to show you. Okay, so that is how you do those two things. Download a browser, open a file, okay? Great start. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to actually personalize the uh, background and colors. OK, so once you get some files moved over um, again, using the file explorer, you plug in a second drive, you go to this PC, you can move files from there or use your browser. Again, we just talked about how to get your uh, your browser that you want. Then you can get files that you want or pictures from the Internet. So then once you have those, it's actually very easy. You could just do a right click on your background and go to personalize right here, which is the little um, paintbrush, right? So click on that one. And here we are inside of the area where I can personalize my background. We'll start with that. Okay, I have a picture here that I downloaded. I'm gonna choose that one. Awesome. Now I have this background. I'm gonna minimize so I can check. Awesome. I personally like to go into the colors and the themes. Colors, I change from light to dark mode. I just prefer it. And then you can change colors down here to something cool. This just changes underneath the icons and to the side in the menus and some other areas. You'll see that color, which is pretty cool. Pop back and they even have pre-built themes if you don't know what you want and contrast themes, which can be really important for you know people out there who can't see very well. So this is all done again by just right clicking on the background, and choosing that personalize option. Okay, that's gonna give you access to background colors, themes, and even some of those accessibility options like contrast, okay? OK, 
Okay, next let's talk about the task bar. A lot of people get thrown off and I'm actually going to uh, change it back so you can see um, by the centering of the task bar, right? Because when you first start out, I had mine kind of swapped around. It's going to look something like, like this right here with the um, start menu now in the middle. You've got this widget icon, which is if you hover over, anytime your mouse goes over that, you can see it makes a pop up, which a lot of people can get really frustrated with if they you know don't want to be seeing that the whole time and then you also have this task view and the start menu being in the middle those are the changes the um, task view is interesting as well you can click on this and actually start a second desktop environment here where it's free from the other one so like let's say you have a bunch of stuff going on on desktop one you can hit this um, task view option down here and then actually open up a new desktop and you can just keep doing it okay kind of a cool new feature that they have and we can turn all that off a lot of times what I do is I like to right click on the taskbar go to taskbar settings and you have the option to turn both of those off like I just did and then usually what I do is I scroll down just a little further to taskbar behaviors and I put my windows start menu to the left I really liked that about previous Windows versions, so I stick it over there. So it looks a little bit more familiar, a little bit what more what I like as well. I'm just not only familiar with it, but I think it looks aesthetically better myself. So right click, taskbar settings, putting that over. A lot of people ask for that, so I wanted to show that in the video. If you want to take that a step further, you can even go online and download like the classic shell, which is an option that allows you to make your um, your your entire UI, the whole user interface, look like a previous version of Windows. And a lot of people opt to do that because they don't like the new UI, which is okay. If you don't like it, you can download that Shell Classic software and uh, and get that set up and then make it look like a previous version of Windows, which is pretty cool. All right, and this final one is something I use all the time. A lot of times um, I will hear users complain that they cannot find their applications or their software that they have installed. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that. If you hold down the Windows key and tap R, you'll get the run command here. We're gonna type in shell colon apps folder, okay? Just like this, I have it on screen. I'll have it down in the description. We're gonna hit on okay. That is going to drop us into a folder that has all of our icons, okay? So like, let's say I wanted to get an icon, one of these icons out on my desktop. I could simply just click and drag and drop it out and it'll make a link out here, okay? Very simple, easy method. Do that for you know just about every one of them in there. And then you could even right click on it, show more options, and then put it on the taskbar, right? If I wanted to pin it down at the bottom, okay? Very simple, help you get everything personalized, help you get your applications out on the desktop that you want, the shortcut icons that you want, That'll help you get your taskbar set up with the icons the way you want. If you want it to the left, if you want it to look like older versions of Windows. If you wanted to uh, not show all that stuff when you highlight over, um, you know, the, the searches and things like that, you could turn all that off inside just by right clicking taskbar settings. OK, gone over a lot. By now, you should have a new browser. You should be getting files. You should be searching for files. Uh, with the file explorer you should be searching online with whatever preferred browser you want and that's going to bring me to one last little bonus section that i'm going to talk about which is how to set up some antivirus right because you have windows defender built in oh. don't forget about that windows defender is great but i do recommend going online finding yourself something like malware bytes which is one of the best antiviruses out there you can have okay and just give it a download okay you could try it for free give it the download um, and then try that out, put it on your computer, protect yourself. And we'll be talking more about that in the future. And then grab yourself an ad blocker. Ublock Origin is a great um, ad blocker. Make sure you get that from the Edge store directly, the Edge add-on store, like you see here, um, and add that into your browser, okay? Keep yourself protected from all those unwanted pop-ups, advertisements, and of course, malware, viruses, things like that, okay? Malware Bytes, uBlock Origin. Great products to add into your brand new Windows 11 computer. Don't overclog it with a whole bunch of security programs. These very light, they don't take a lot of your uh, resources. And again, they're very fair priced. So go check those out. Um, and that's it. You're protected, browsing the internet, got your files, 
should look a little bit more like your old computer or at least the way you want it. I hope this helped. If it did, make sure and hit that like and subscribe down in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.